Several high school football squads are gearing up for the fall with 7-on-7 seven -seven scrimmages. And for a couple of our area teams, it's a chance to get used to a new man in charge. Down in Oscoda, Dave Lavasser is taking over for Chris Davis as the Owls head coach. Lavasser moved north after coaching at Essexville, Garber, and Freeland and inherits a team that finished 2-6 and six last season. The head coach and, the new player, and his new players say they're already developing a strong bond. Well, he's, uh, he's a very fun guy. He likes to joke around. And he seems like a great guy. I'm glad to have him coaching. And the kids are outstanding. You know, you grow to very close to him very quickly. You know, and uh, it's become very, very close. You know, this kind of stuff that we're doing here, this is all kind of secondary because we want to build that family first and then football second. And we're doing that right now. Meanwhile, the Atlanta Huskies hope to find some stability under their new coach. Melvin Skillman was re replaced by Todd Kendrick late last season, and now Troy Cheedy will take the reins for the 2012 campaign. Atlanta graduated some key playmakers, but returned senior quarterback Garrett Badgerow from last year's squad that went 4-5. and five. Cheedy, a former Husky assistant, says he doesn't plan to change much, which should help make the coaching transition a smooth one. I know in the past few years we've had a few different coaches come in and it's been a different offense every time. Uh, we're pretty much sticking to what we know, what we've known the last few years and uh, that helps out tremendously. He knows how things work and he, he just brings a lot of good intensity to our football program and he's always positive about everything and he, he's really just keeping our spirits up. I'm just looking forward to getting started and with these guys in the shape and see if we can get some wins this year.